I often get asked the question, how is it to become a single parent? Or it's not that they ask me, it's more like they actually have this comment that, hey Jess, you're doing a great job. You know, being a single parent is really tough. And I go like, yeah, you guys have no fucking idea how tough it is. And um, I'm not saying that I'm all superhero and all, all that. I, I'm not saying I got superpowers. I'm not saying I'm more mature than anyone else. Hell no. I'm definitely as immature as the next person that I know. It's just that I'm aware of the responsibilities that I have. And um, the mere fact that I have a four-year-old child and I'm rearing him, I'm raising him by my lonesome, I also need to take into consideration that I have to put him in on top of all of my priorities. And that means that usually hap- what usually happens is I need to put him on top of my needs. That's how it is to become a parent. Although nowadays, we really have these ideas or there are, there are a lot of da- <laughs> Yeah, it tends to cut my frame of thought, but there are a lot of distinct paradigm shifts happening in that dialogue. And if you are a parent, it's always imperative that you have to put your child's needs on top of your needs. The way I see it is, if I put my child's needs on top of my needs, I won't be able to fulfill my responsibility as a parent to him. Because if I put his needs on top of mine, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go crazy. So what I usually do is, first, I need to take care of myself. I need to be intact. I need to be stable. If I'm not, if I'm shaky, if I'm, you know, emotionally and mentally unstable i'm pretty sure the way i will be treating him the way i'll be taking care of him is gonna be affected so um you might think that it's selfish you might think that it's really weird or unorthodox but i really put myself on top of my son's needs so take care of myself first before i take care of my son in order to be able to perform it well that's my that's how i see it And um, what I really want to talk about today is how is it, how can you, (laughs) he fell down, (laughs) how can you date a single parent? Well, number one, you have to understand that if you are going to be dating a single parent, you're not dating the child, right? You're dating the person who happens to be a single parent. It does not automatically mean that if they're a parent, the child, you know, automatically is in the picture. Again, that depends on the person, right? But personally, my, my personal opinion here is you just have to acknowledge the fact that I'm a single parent. But ultimately, I want you to be focusing on me, not on my child. Because you will be dating me. You're not going to be dating my son. He fell again. (laughs) And in order for you to date me, all you need to do, all you need to do is acknowledge the fact that I have a child. And it really helps if you like a child. If you are, you know, if you are really dating a single parent, it is important that you like children like inherently like children because yes you might be dating the parent but ultimately if things get serious enough you are going to be having these conversation and you are going to be considering merging together and being a family right so if you really aren't open to the idea of children i don't think dating someone who is a single parent is for you Find someone who is single and unattached and doesn't have the responsibility of raising a kid. But if you actually see yourself dating a single parent and raising kids, this is going to be, I think this is going to be the most beneficial 
arrangement that you could actually have, especially for those people who are in same-sex relationships. Number one, why, um, well, obviously it's very difficult to become a parent if you are homosexual. We really can't reproduce naturally. Well, it's not that we can't, it's just a matter of choice if, it's just a matter of choice if you want to, you know, reproduce normally, <laughs> rather naturally or not. Uh, of course, you got other options as well. Adoption, you got in vitro fertilization, you got surrogacy. You got a lot of things going on nowadays. I mean, there are even freaking uh, research on being able to reproduce using just two egg cells or two sperm cells. Using the viable DNA of those two reproductive... Jeez, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, remember, I remember reading an article about it. And yeah, it's, it's really promising. But of course, that research is not going to be viable or it's not going to be available within the immediate future. I mean, give or take maybe decades. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Now going back to my point about dating single, how to date a single parent. For me, you really just need to focus on, on, the, on the person that you're dating first, right? And for single parents out there, honestly... My brethren, <laughs> it's going to be unfair if you are going to be jumping into a relationship and then expecting that your, your partner is going to be accepting of your child right away. Give them time to process things. Give them time to actually... It's, 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 it's a process. You can't really expect them to just jump at the idea of being a family at the get-go. So it's, it's just like... It's just like deciding if you want to have a kid or not. You need to give them time. You need to respect their own process. You have to give it to them. Make them decide for themselves if it's something that they really think that they can, you know, see themselves in getting engaged. Uh, if it is something that they see themselves getting, uh, see, oh my God, you know, <laughs> something that they want to be in. So we have to always respect that because at the end of the day you have your needs and then you have your child's needs and it would be great if it would just mesh together if you find someone who can or who is willing to be a parent to your child and be your life partner forever uh, you know the works that would be great that would be freaking awesome right but don't expect them to jump at the idea at the get-go let them decide for themselves. Uh, another one. I really am not a fan of financial sharing. Okay, if you are a single parent and you're dating someone, you should not expect this person to be financially obligated to give to your child right away. If he or she decides to do it out of their own volition, then great. But you shouldn't be expecting it from them you should be res you should still be responsible for your child and you alone not until your partner decides that okay I acknowledge this child as my own as well and I've decided to that we should share responsibility of raising him or her and be financially responsible for the child as well then that's the only time you can actually ask for financial obligation from your partner so I'm not saying that a lot of people are doing this but I find that a lot of you know I find that a lot of I, I hear a lot of stories about it and I guess I since I don't believe in it I really have strong feelings against it so that's just my two cents about dating a single parent maybe I'll have a few more in the future but that's all for now so I hope you guys are having a good day ciao